Hi folks, we are today out for a summit wild camp up Ben Ich. Ben Ich is a corbett here in the Loch Lomond in Trossachs with 813 meters. With us is Robert um, from Muchi Mountains. And we started at Loch Lupnaik. We went up through a wee forestry track and now a good track here in through Glen Ampel, which is a beautiful Glen here. And we are heading now already up to um, Benich, which we can see from here, which basically the peak is like a V zigzag pass up. Let us continue. Over here we can see Loch Lugnaik, where we came from, with Ben Lady. This is Glen Appel. And here far in the distance, this is Loch Oern. And we are almost at the top. Yeah, it's a kind of breezy to be honest. But it's just so nice to be outside. And maybe look what we do on top. But it's I missed it already, it sounds stupid I know, but absolutely stunning. The beach is the top of Benich. And over here is Loch Lugnaik with Ben Lady. Then we have Loch Ern, Stobach I think it's this one called, it's a Monroe. Just beautiful. So, we will have short debate and a rest, and then we need to decide where we want to buy a camp. But to be honest, up here is pretty windy, and I think this is not a particular good idea. So, probably. We will head down in this direction somewhere and have a look what we can find. It's so nice with the waves and lights coming through. But I think the best for us to find a spot is probably further down here or even here near where Robert is that we are just chilled because the wind should come. Um, from here and it should turn in the night from this direction should shift so we need to be aware of this it was quite a hike but finally we found a place where we could pitch the tent because both of us had no motivation to pitch here on top um, in the strong winds where they look everywhere at the v lochan at the bigger lochan but it was always just too windy and a really cold strong wind so we both decided we go down here to Glen Ampel and we hike just direction Loch Ern, which we can see here behind us. Oh, we can't really see it, but we can make it out. Here we have little to no wind, so I opened all the vents um, on the scarp, even lifted up the doors a bit because it will be too warm with all the condensation, I think. We have plenty of water sources around. And the next thing is that we get us some water and then we will cook us something. Yeah, and actually I couldn't resist. I got myself a dehydrator and um, this is the first meal which I dehydrated for myself. This is 150 grams altogether. This is what I read in the internet, but most people do 150 grams. And I have some kidney beans, some mince, some sweet corn. 
um, some rice and then a lot of spices I put later on in like smoked paprika powder, some of chili of my chili plants and a little bit of salt. I don't like it too salty um, and I also built this little pouch just out of a reflective because it needs to hydrate so I fill this one then up with water basically to, to the level when, when I can shake it then I need to have a look and then I need to put it in here basically uh, and leave it closed for 10 to 50 minutes and it can hydrate and the reason is uh, why I use a reflective because I want to eat something warm maybe it's not really necessary today but in winter and it weighs like 20 grams the whole pack this little envelope um, and these are freezer bags which also can take boiling water so I shouldn't get any microplastic things into my whole systems but to be honest I won't eat out of the bag I will after hydration I will put it into the pot because eating out of the pack I tried it at home and with a little opening here I just I just don't enjoy it and I rather wash my pot I'm honest and this is just how I will do it and everyone is there completely different and I hope we have enough water boiling this is um, I think 700 mils or 800 mils goes in here that we can still have a coffee in between when the food is hydrating. Aye, it's ready. So now I need basically not really sure what is the best way to do it without burning myself. I'm honest. I think when I do it this carefully, I this works. And now I just put it here in the pouch. Ah. Okay. Oh, and this is now our portion of chili con carne. Mm. It's really nice and was also in which I forgot to mention is I dehydrated also some tomato puree. So I have like a third of a um, tube of tomato puree in it. And it's absolutely nice. But said this is quite a lot of work to do it honestly at home. It needs to be a hobby, you need to be passionate about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother to get a dehydrator. For me, it's the right thing. I like things like this to do my own stuff. And I will eat now and see you later. morning folks yeah it was a really good night a little bit of wind in between but that was it um, and I will now make myself a breakfast yeah and I have like um, strawberries raspberries some bananas raisins and some nuts and some milk powder and the oats and this will be my breakfast So I will wait now till the water boils, then I will um, eat my breakfast, drink a coffee, then we take the stuff together. And I hope you enjoyed our wee wild campaign in Ampel and hey, see you next time. Bye!